We just went to Walmart and we got bike locks and inner tubes for the tires and a bike pump and water bottle holders. And this is gonna sound kind of wild, but I had no idea that the inner tube and the actual tire were separate pieces. Did you guys know that? I thought it was just like a car tire. I did not know. It kind of blew my mind, but Luke's changing it out right now. Thank you, baby. And then we're going to be able to bike down to the beach. <laughs> Shit. Oh. <laughs> you got the green on you, it's so cute. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day. Okay, bikes are all ready and we're gonna head to the bike shop. Look and see if we can find some tires for that side. Maybe a few screws so Luke can hang his phone with one of the GoPro attachments and possibly some helmets. And I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the I told Luke I wanted to get a horn so I could honk at the people who are driving down here and almost hit us. And this is gonna be our new bike right here. <laughs> Only $839. Actually not bad for a tandem bike. There's another one. Wow, there's so many bikes here. This place is legit. Well, that was really fun. We just got back from the bike shop and then we went to Walmart and I picked up some hair dye. We did not walk our bikes out there because at the bike shop, this guy Bear told us that our bikes were awesome and that people would steal them. So it made us feel pretty good about our bikes. Yeah, it's just a Schwinn and a Woolsworth, so yeah. Look, look at this cute little mirror for his. So rad, so fun. Oh, look at my hair. This is helmet hair. Oh, so much worse than hat hair. Oh, and this is the color hair dye I got. It's a medium golden chestnut brown. So we'll see how that looks. It's gotta look better than this, right? Well, it's Sunday and we're about to go to the beach. I had a really rough night last night. We started watching this show, really great show called Outlander. And then there was like this very believable extended death scene. And after this happening two or three times, I realized now that I cannot watch horror or gore or anything, which is so weird because only six months ago, I loved horror and gore and I even acted in a few horror movies, but I just, I can't watch it now. I can't handle it. I just start to feel what they're feeling on the TV or I just feel very emotional for them and it makes me sick. I don't know. Apparently I can't watch anything like that anymore, but besides the point, I'm exhausted from all that and we're gonna go to the beach, which is really cool. I'm really excited about that and it dyed my hair. Woo! So I got our beach bags already here and we're gonna head out soon. And I'm supposed to get my HelloFresh order today. Looks like I haven't got it yet. Oops. I'd be so happy when we don't have to wear these damn masks anymore. This is technically Hollywood Beach, right? Uh, North Hollywood. North Hollywood yeah. Beach? Okay. This is pretty. Yeah, I like this. Oh, bike material. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, w
Wow. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> wow, babe. This is gorgeous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, much bigger waves over here. So hold me tight through the night. So I think we were taunting the waves for too long. We kept getting up closer and closer and closer, and the waves are really heavy today. And it <laughs> It knocked us so hard. I fell under the water, got water up my nose and my mouth. Oh my god, I was laughing so hard. It was so fun. I noticed some trash around the beach, so I thought I would try to pick up a few pieces of trash and just take it to the trash can. And <laughs> I think I touched something I shouldn't have touched. What does that look like to y'all? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Today we made it at the beach for about three hours as opposed to two hours last time and we are officially sun drunk and ready to go home. Yay! Yeah. Apparently we left just in the nick of time because everyone is going to the beach right now. <laughs> Alright, we should have our Hello Fresh package. I got an order for oh yep. Yeah. There it is! Yay! Yeah. Hey babies. This is our first time ever ordering from HelloFresh and Luke went ahead and got this for me because I wanted to learn how to cook more foods. So I went ahead and ordered three veggie meals for the week and this is what we got. When you first open up the package, it shows you the recipe for what you got. So we got the zucchini and mushroom bibimbap bibim bop bowls. <laughs> ah. And then it shows you all the ingredients you need, how long it takes to cook it. Very cool. I'm excited to try this. We got the sun-dried tomato spaghetti with fresh herbs, almonds, and parmesan. And our third meal for the week was the Southwest plant-based protein over cilantro rice. Mmm, looks so yummy. Look at that. Can't wait to try that. Then it's got, oh that's cool, it's got like a little insulated bag here. Everything is wrapped individually. Go ahead and take all that out. Got some ice packs here. It says don't forget about ingredients which may be hiding under the ice. And there are a few. We've got the plant-based ground beef. More ice, which these are actually really cool because we can use these to go to the beach. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the freezer and keep these. So my plan was to do three meals a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So we'll do the first meal tomorrow. Best used within seven days of receipt, keep refrigerated or frozen. So since I'm gonna use it this week, I'm gonna put this in the fridge. I'll show you all what's inside. Very cool. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. So we've got our mushrooms, our zucchini. What's this? some sriracha sauce, some rice. This is so cute. I'm not really sure what that is, but I'm gonna need it. Two large eggs. It comes with everything you need. Sesame oil, asparagus. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. These are scallions. What's this? White wine vinegar, a carrot. This is so awesome, and soy sauce, wow. I wanna be completely transparent about the HelloFresh thing. I did get a code, and if you use it, you get $70 off over like the next three or four orders. Whenever you click on the link, it's gonna say, thanks to Carrie, that is me. That is my legal name in case you all didn't know. That's what that's what's on my credit card. So that's what it's gonna say. It's not gonna say Dolly, it's gonna say Carrie if you click on the link. And I wanna show you all how much I am paying each week for the food so you can get an idea and see if you're able to afford it or not. I'm gonna try to find how much it is for you all. Do, 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 nope. This is the order, haha. <laughs> so I would definitely recommend using the app whenever you're going to cook because you can actually click on the recipe and it will show you all the information about it, what you have, how long to do it, all that good stuff. 
but you can't actually see how much you're paying for each delivery on the app. At least I'm not able to find it. So this is with a discount put on, but I paid a total of $32.93, and that is the three vegetarian meals for the week, which if you think about it really isn't bad because that's like $10 a meal, so that's pretty good. So I'm saving $70 in total over four deliveries. So I'm saving $36 off the first box, $22 on the second, $8 off the third, and $4 off the fourth. After that, it does get a little bit more expensive, but at least if you do this, it can show you, hey, these are new recipes that you can try, and it kind of gives you the ingredients list, and then it makes you a little bit more confident. So even if you can't afford to do it later on, it still gives you that confidence and that experience to be able to cook meals better in the future, which is what I'm planning to do with it. It is time for me to go hop in the shower because I smell of salt water and taste of it too. I'm very confused because we ordered this table off Amazon and we only got half the table and we didn't get any chairs. So I'm wondering if it comes in different parts and different boxes at different times. But basically I got the legs to the table and, and that's all I got. So I'll keep you updated on that. I'm gonna make a few phone calls. It's really weird. <laughs> to go on an adventure today so I packed up my purse I got my plastic bag in case I found some trash I got my key my water bottle my aspirin hand sanitizer my mask sunglasses all that good stuff I walked around the condo area and I saw eight little baby lizards one moth one butterfly and one really weird spider that I had never seen before. It looks like it was wearing a Japanese mask on the back of it. The moth was pretty weird too. It kind of looked like it was made of wood and it was pretty large. I, I got lost. Yeah, believe it or not, I got lost walking around the condo. And the reason why is because I, somebody was power washing the sidewalk. So I took a turn and there is, actually in this edition, there's two buildings. There's two on either side of the pond and they look exactly the same. So I was like, wow, that's weird. I already made it all the way around. So I walked in and I tried to check my mailbox and it wasn't my mailbox, but it, everything looked exactly the same. Colors, numbers, everything. So I took the stairs, walked up and realized I'm not in the right building. Took the elevator down, came to my building, checked the mail, there was nothing there. And that's pretty much the extent of my adventure. <laughs> it's really hot out, so I decided to come inside and do something else for a while. But I did want to say thank you to everyone for commenting on my last couple of videos, my mental health videos. I'm doing a lot better today. It feels uh, really good to know what's going on with my body. That way I can prepare if I go into those modes or at least when I come out, I can know that I'm not losing my mind. I might actually be possibly regaining my mind. Um, you know, it's just, after being on medication for 10 years and then coming off of it, your brain's gonna be different. So that's just something I'm gonna have to learn to deal with over time and temporary psychosis and all that good stuff. So, but I just wanted to say thank you all for commenting and being there for me and not making me feel like a complete weirdo or an outcast. I really, really appreciate it. Um, also, of course, my husband's been super supportive, super loving, super caring, you know, he's there for me. And so that really helps as well. I think it's also really hard with us just moving to Florida. I mean, the weather's awesome here. I love it here, don't get me wrong, but we've moved away from all of our family and friends. So it's a lot different than it used to be. Whereas I used to, I could just call up family any day of the week and go out and do something. Here I am alone. So I'm having to learn to self-entertain which I've never been very good at. I'm pretty good at enter entertaining other people, but as far as entertaining myself, that's something I'm gonna have to learn how to do. So that's why today I decided to go on that walk. Been kind of having some intestinal, stomach, womanly issues and all that good stuff. 
but I did get a doctor's appointment on the 8th so I'm gonna go to Planned Parenthood and see what's going on with that jazz honestly it could have to do with my medications getting off such a medication that basically affects every part of your body you know it's it's gonna throw things out of whack so I'm hoping that it's just temporary and that's what's going on but I'm gonna go get it checked out um, update as far as the therapist goes I know I told you all I was gonna look for a therapist I have looked for one that's basically what I spent all day yesterday doing and I was able to find a place uh, since I'm not currently working what they require down here in the state of Florida for this place anyway Diva I'm trying to make a video is they want you to basically sign a affidavit of support and my husband since he works he supports me so he signs this affidavit we go get it notarized and then I take it to this place and at least my initial visit is free and then after that I guess they figure out how much to charge me hopefully not a lot because I really need to talk to someone but I don't feel good about spending hundreds of dollars to do so so we'll see what happens with that um but that's pretty much the update i have for now yeah i've been going through this thing where i'm like should i delete my channel am i telling people too much about my life i go i go through these things like if you know me you know that i've had a ton of different um facebook's in the past and instagrams and i will get all these followers and do all these things and then i'll just delete it because i want to be private and then i'll start it up again and i just don't want to i don't think i want to do that with my youtube i don't really know what direction i want to go yet i guess technically my channel is just like a life blog and that's fine for now you know that's that's cool it helps me to get it out there and if it's helping even one person to see like hey i'm not alone or hey there's someone entertaining me or talk to or whatever that's cool um honestly i'm just doing it for me you know but like I said, if it helps somebody, that's really awesome. I mean, we know the people at Luke's work, but we don't really know them and we don't have any friends down here. So you guys are my only friends right now and you mean a lot to me and I just want to say I love you. All right, I've babbled enough.